Listen, Bigby. I assume you'll be filing some kind of an official report or something. Which is fine, it's just that I was wondering if I need to be in it. Do you have to mention my name? I mean, it's, it's not like Beast would ever see your report. It's just... Don't worry about it. The less I have to write down, the better. Thanks. I appreciate it. Well, here we are. Which one was it? You have keys to these rooms? I thought you had a key. Not to this one. Hold on, Bigby. I can't just let you go into any room you want. Seriously, what if someone found out? You have to let me in there. This is the room, 207. But I... This is the room Lily was in. Ugh, <sighs> fine. Well, that's weird. This key is supposed to open every room in the building, but... It's not working. Beauty! Ah, shit. Beast? Big B? How could you do this to me? No, sweetie, no. Wait a minute. How could you do this? We've been together through everything. I took care of you. I love- It's not what you think. Please. You're cheating on me? With him? No, no, Beast. I promise I'm not. I'm helping him. That's all. I'll bet! I'm sure you help each other just great! Beast, stop this. Right now. This isn't the way to handle things. What do you know? You don't have anybody! What the fuck is wrong with you? She's my wife! Beast, listen to me! There's nothing going on! I'm mad! <laughs> hey! Bastard! I guess I finally see you for who you are! Stop! Stop it! You said you saw her that night. I should have fucking known. Listen to your wife. Just calm down and... Beast! What the hell do you think you're doing? You aren't even listening to me! She's my wife, Bigby! I told you! You don't want to see this. Shit. What is it? <gasps> oh my god. Don't touch anything. Is this... is this... Lily met her client here. Mr. Smith, whoever he is. And then... Must have happened right here. Jesus. Last night? Yeah. I was on shift last night. On shift? Beauty. 
What? I'm not a prostitute, you idiot. I work at the front desk. I... so that's... Was anyone acting suspicious? Maybe moving a heavy piece of luggage, or... Uh... He got the body out of here somehow. Jesus Christ! No, no, I didn't see anything like that. It just seemed like a totally normal night. How is that even possible? There's so much blood. Go lock the front door. Keep people out of the hallway. I need you to be sure no one comes in here. This is a crime scene, okay? But Just do what he says. I'll explain later, okay? Bigby, what kind of a person could do something like this? That's exactly what I'm about to try to find out. Do all the rooms have these same clocks with the built-in cassette player? I think so, yes. Looks like she was lying down when she was killed. Flowers were already here. How do you know that? Blood pattern. Also, I'd say the body was dragged off the foot of the bed. There. The body. Jesus. You could say she. Poor girl. I just can't even imagine. He brought wine. Classy. I can't believe this. Someone's been rough with this dress. It's torn. Oh no. She must have been wearing it. He killed her, and then... and then he took it back off? No, there's no blood on it. It must have been torn some other time. It's a huff and puff. I thought you were the only one who smoked that crap brand. Apparently not. What is that? It's a book about Snow White. Or about the Mundy version of her story, anyway. What is it? It seems like he's fascinated by Snow's beauty. He's got this book about her, and he's even written it on the note. And he glamored someone to look like her. Yeah, I'm sure he's a real romantic. The whole book is about her? Yeah. Why is she in a glass coffin? This is the part where she's in a deep sleep, but they think she's dead. Hmm. Oh no. What? What is it? I think he made up the bed to match the coffin in the picture. Flowers, too. He'd have had Lily lie down just like this. You mean just before? In the story, that's when someone comes to kiss her. That's our Mr. Smith. He thinks Snow's beautiful, and this is what he does? I'm sure he thinks it's romantic, but, but what it is is obsessive and, and creepy. Oh my god, that poor girl. She couldn't have known. She probably just needed the money. She could have been anyone. How did she wind up here? I mean, not exactly here, but just how does a person... Georgie took advantage of her when she was in trouble. He's a real predator. Yeah. She must have been so scared. Is there anything else you can tell me about last night? Anything that sticks out in your mind? Sorry, no, it just seemed like every other night does. That's exactly what's bothering me. From now on, I'll just be down there imagining this. How can I find out who rented this room? Find whoever has the key? 
I'm pretty sure this one must be held long term. And we don't keep a register or anything. This place is intentionally kind of anonymous. I keep hearing that. I'd better not find out you're hiding something from me about all this. What the hell is wrong with you? I'm not involved in this! Please, just do whatever you need to do and let's get out of here. Maybe she didn't see it coming. Do you smell something? No, just apple. Huh. Oh no, there's more? What? What now? It's got a single bite taken out of it, like in Snow's story. Oh no, do you think it was poisoned? It wasn't. I'd have smelled that. I think it's just a prop. It's here because they were acting out the scene in the book. Of course. That makes perfect sense. He's just acting out another part of the book. God, I'm just having trouble processing all of this. This guy has some kind of weird snow obsession, but then there's this other stuff, too. I mean, he's fascinated by her beauty, but then he spoils it by cutting off her head. Unless he thinks that's an improvement. Jesus. I hope you're just about through. I don't really want to stay in here any longer. Stalking, it doesn't just stop by itself. Trust me, I know about this firsthand. He'll keep trying to get closer and closer. His stand in for Snow is gone now, so. The next step closer. What is it? It's <gasps> Crane. could be after you now. Good. I am dying to get my hands on that disgusting weasel. Really starting to like you, Sheriff. You're not afraid to be a complete bastard. Obviously, there will have to be some changes. Hello, Big B. Take care of it, Big B, or I'll take care of it for you. Jesus Christ, Big B. Is that you?